2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, commands us to take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Welcome to the battle. Jesus is Lord, not just of our hearts, but also of our minds. We need to be thinking God's thoughts after him. And seeing the multitudes, Jesus went up on a mountain, and when he was seated, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. This is the second beatitude. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Now, not all that mourn are blessed. For the lost in hell shall mourn. For the Bible says in Matthew 24, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The lost at Christ's return shall mourn. And they shall see the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And all the tribes of the earth shall mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. In this second beatitude, Jesus is talking about the same thing as the first. Blessed are the spiritually bankrupt. Blessed are those who see their iniquity, their sin, and their need of a Savior. And they repent and mourn over their own wickedness and sin. Like David in Psalm 32. The conviction of his sin and wickedness weighed him down. He said, My vitality is turned into the drought of summer, for day and night your hand pressed heavy upon me. It left him in a state of deep anguish, sorrow, and loss, which led him to repentance and then forgiveness. His mourning was turned to joy. But without the sorrow and conviction of sin leading to spiritual mourning, No comfort will ever be found, only the everlasting, never-ending regret of hell. That is why James tells us in chapter 4, Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. James is calling us to see our sin as it is. Sin is evil, sin is awful, sin is deadly, sin is inexcusable, and sin is without remedy apart from the work of the Son of God on the cross, bringing us redemption, and the work of the Holy Spirit in our hearts, bringing us to repentance. Blessed are those who mourn, who weep over their sin. For they are the ones who will be comforted. We must come to Christ recognizing our spiritual bankruptcy and our inexcusable sin. With the work of the Spirit in our hearts bringing us to true spiritual mourning. And there in Christ we shall find comfort. Are you experiencing the work of the Holy Spirit in bringing you again and again to a place of spiritual mourning, sorrow, and repentance? If so, then you are blessed indeed. Blessed are those who are spiritually bankrupt. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who spiritually mourn over their sin and flee in repentance to Christ. For they will know the comfort and joy of forgiveness and eternal life in him. Lord God, we thank you for the work of your Holy Spirit in awakening us to our spiritual bankruptcy, in giving us a heart that grieves over our sin, that we might know grief no more and be fully forgiven through faith in Christ and Christ alone. Glory be to your name for the blessings 
of repentance. In Jesus' name, we give you praise. Amen. Thanks for spending time in the Word with us today. 